guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 18, 18 I think? Yep. Wow, that's crazy. A week from today is Christmas. Oh my gosh, seven days till Christmas. Sorry, the lighting again is horrible. I wanted to film this earlier, but someone had a phone call, so <laughs> this is the lighting you're gonna get. We are off to my baby appointment, my 37 week, but I'm two days away from being 38 weeks appointment. <laughs> So, I don't know, we'll have to see how it goes. I'm sure they'll check the heartbeat as normal, and I don't know if they're gonna do a check every time to see how dilated I am um, from now on, so we'll see if they do that. I kind of hope they do, but kind of hope they don't because it's uncomfortable, but at the same time, I wanna know how much more I've dilated, so we'll see. And Jacob decided to come along because just in case they wanna send us to the hospital, it's just better to be together and not have to worry about him driving separately and everything. We have the baby car seat in the back right there, all ready to go if we do go to the hospital. We have our bags in the back. It was so crazy loading it all up. Like, did it feel surreal to you? Yeah, a little bit. It was just like a fun trip or something. Yeah, we will update you guys after the appointment and I'll tell you guys everything they tell me. And it should be fun. Hopefully they don't send us to the hospital because we've got stuff to do. appointment and it's a little bit later in the afternoon it's almost five o'clock it's 4 30 and the appointment went really well they decided not to check me for um, my dilation just because they said it's uncomfortable and it's unnecessary they said i'd probably be at around the same like one and a half to two centimeters dilated still so she said baby was measuring normal the heartbeat was great and that i'm full term he could come any day now she also said that they can't recommend that I get induced at 39 weeks. Like their doctors can't tell me that, but she said that if I want to, they'll totally support that. And that a lot of people who get induced at 39 weeks instead of 40 or 41 weeks do a lot better at 39 weeks because the baby's smaller. She said like the placenta is at a healthier stage. So yeah, she said if I make it to 39 weeks and I want to get induced, she's like, we can totally schedule that and they'll support me and everything. She said that she's pretty confident I will not have to get induced just because I'm already dilated. And she said my cervix was like amazing. So I don't know really what that means, but she seemed pretty confident that I won't have to get induced in that he'll come on his own. We'll see. I think I definitely want to get induced if I make it that far, but we'll see. He could literally come any day now. So it was really exciting. My next appointment will be Christmas Eve Eve, so the 23rd. They'll probably check my dilation then and see how far along I am and stuff. So that'll be exciting. Another exciting thing that we have just gotten in the mail, Jacob's mom actually gifted me this for my birthday, which is so nice. I'm so excited for it. Um, and it's our first piece of mail that actually has our baby's name on it, which is so fun. It's the Panda Crate from KiwiCo. I don't know if you guys have heard of this before, but it's like a subscription service and they send you specific toys based on your baby's age. So like, obviously I think this is the newborn one, but they send you specific toys based on like your kid's development and what they should be learning and all that stuff. So I'm super excited to open this up and try it out. So you open it up and this is what it's inside. It has like a few little pamphlets. It says, welcome to Panda Crate. We've designed Panda Crate to be grounded in the science of early childhood, made helpful, practical, and convenient for parents. And then it also comes with little cards on how to use the toys with your kid, which is really cool. So it shows all the toys that we get in the box and how to use them. So like. For the mirror, it says we can hang it up, we can fold it up next to them, and it shows a bunch of different ways to use it, which is cool, and obviously all the other cards as well. So let's see what fun toys we got in here. We have a little pillow, and it looks like it has little cards in here. So you can take a picture of them when they're one month old, and it says today I'm one month old, and then on the other side, you can put how much they weigh, how long they are, how, if they have any teeth yet, 
I feel like one month is really early to have teeth, but. <laughs> oh, there's more month cards right there. Oh, there they are. So here they are. It looks like it comes with more month cards here. So that's great. So two months old, three months old. That's really fun. So you'll be able to take a little picture of them with this pillow every month. And then next we have these black and white flash cards, which I've heard are really good for newborns, especially because they can't really see that much color yet. This card says easy for travel, high contrast images. Simple and complex designed, and it's sized to fit in the tummy time mirror, which we also have. So, and then it gives instructions on how to use them, where to place them in front of your baby. And then the next one we have here is the tummy time mirror, which I was really trying to find a cute mirror, like toy on Amazon or Crate and Barrel or anywhere, and I could not find a cute one that was simple and not like styled. I feel like it was either like space themed or dinosaur themed or something like that so i'm really excited to have just like a basic plain one that's not crazy so there's the mirror and then you can like fold it up in different ways so you can like set it like this in front of them you can like put it like this next to them there's another mirror on the other side and then it has all these fun little things that they can play with. So that's really cool, I really like this. I think we'll get a lot of use out of this one. And then the last thing in here is a little swaddle, which is so cute. It's a muslin swaddle, which I love the feeling of them. They're just so soft and that design is perfect. I love that, really simple and nice. So yeah, that is everything in the first box that we got, I love it. I'm so excited to use it with him and read all about how to do all the fun activities. Obviously this isn't sponsored or anything. This was a gift from my mother-in-law. So thank you, Jeannie, if you're watching this. <laughs> did you like the unboxing? Indeed. Yeah, are you excited? Yeah. Which one did you like the most? The mirror's cool and that pillow's yeah. cool too. Yeah, I think I like the mirror the most. I think we're really gonna use this one a lot. I think now we are gonna go out and get dinner in a little bit. And I also have like a bunch of Christmas cards that I need to hang on our front door where we keep all of our Christmas cards, so. Maybe I should go do that. It's a little bit later now and we just went out and got some dinner and we actually ate in the parking lot because we were so hungry and the drive from this Mexican place that I like to go to is a little bit long. We also didn't take into consideration that it's Friday and it was five o'clock when we left. So it was a little busy, but it was worth it. It was so good. So we got some Mexican food for dinner and now we're feeding our little girl who's so hungry. And now I think we're gonna make some Christmas cookies while she eats. I have the Pillsbury Christmas tree ones here. Nice. Yeah, it's a little noisy over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm preheating the oven right now. We'll make some of those, those will be good. I can't decide if I want apple juice or tea. Are you gonna have a drink? Tea. Tea probably goes better with cookies, right? I don't think either of those goes with cookies. I feel like apple probably. juice. I'll have apple okay. juice. <laughs> I've been so into having apple juice with ice apple. lately. It's been like in your craving. I know, and guys, for the first time since I got pregnant, I had eggs yesterday and today. I like always had scrambled eggs every single day before I got pregnant, I would have it for breakfast. And I don't know why, it just sounded good these last two days. I think that means the end is near. <laughs> But, oh gosh. <laughs> Just a little lightning crotch, that's all. <laughs> so, we'll make these cookies and it should be any. Okay, we've got a few more Christmas cards on the door. I also think I have a few upstairs in the office too that I need to put on there, so. I love it, it's so fun. I always leave it up like well through January because I just feel like it's fun to see everyone's faces. Here they are, they look so good. I don't think I've had these since last Christmas. I'm very excited. All right, we are going to go to bed, enjoy our cookies watch some more of The Crown. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video, a little update on baby. I was just telling Jacob, I feel like he's definitely coming soon because I was uncomfortable before, but it just gets worse every day. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy, and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.